What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and it's going to be kind of a shorter one because of course it is the end of the regular season right before the playoffs. We have to look at how the season went for us, how the league overall performed and if we want any awards and we might be able to also sneak in uh, our Pro Bowl players because I believe actually week 17 is when the Pro Bowl is shown. So if we look at quarterback and we look at progression, we should see Pro Bowl uh, you know, for Tua, maybe some other guys as well. I'm not sure exactly who, but at least a few names, right? So, uh, of course, if you're new to this series, I mean, where have you been? I mean, we're having a pretty good season, but of course, no season is perfect, obviously. Uh, we definitely could have lost even three to five games if one small thing changed. So it's not like we're the greatest 16 and one team ever. And we also did in general lose. We obviously do have a bye week because of how great the season was as of right now, as of recording this, this is what it kind of looks like. So we see that uh, the bills move on at the five seed. And then on the other side, we see that the three seed moves on with the five seed. So is that going to happen again here? I don't know. But obviously, we will wait for our opponent. You guys will not have to wait at all because by the time this is uploaded, I'd say we're, we'll are we probably have all those games pretty much you know, solved and all that or settled. But the season, statistically, was pretty good, obviously. One of the better offenses in the league, maybe even the best. Um, let's take a look at the regular season. So... Uh, an okay start, you know, decent start. We lost. It was like, uh oh, what happened? Not a great, you know, game here at all. Decent enough. It was a close call. Smoke job. Close. You know, kind of iffy. Close. But we, you know, it was one of those games where we just, no defense could really do anything. We made just enough stops to force fumbles. And obviously our offense looked pretty damn perfect. Back-to-back uh, -back 38 to 24 games. Really good game there. Close. Pretty close. You know, somewhat close, not close at all, not close at all. And then this one, we were kind of forcing it a little bit with the, uh, you know, trying to go for the record or records with Tua. We stopped at 55 touchdowns again, back to back seasons, which of course ties to uh, Peyton Manning's record of 55, which is just absolutely great. But once again, 16 1 is great. Not the perfect 16 1 season, but still pretty damn good. Taking a look at the stats and awards, this is how it finished for us. Tua with the number one yards and the number one touchdowns, which should, I would assume, give him X-Factor dev, which is just nutso mode. Uh, I think for X-Factor, he's going to have strong arm and improviser in his number three and four slots. But the only thing that really matters to me is that we get the 90 overall slot to improviser first, which I don't know if it's a 50-50 chance or if it's a one in three. It used to be one in three chance to get escape artist, which is just I don't know if there's actually a threshold because he is only 82 speed, 83 excel, but that would be insane to get. I don't think I've ever had like here's the thing. I know escape artist is OP, and it's probably going to make it harder as uh, as a player for me to not abuse it. But I've never had one before, and I know it's going to make him really tough to stop. So. I absolutely want to get it. Uh, really good season, obviously. The picks are a little high, but, you know, whose picks aren't in the season or in this uh, league? Mitchell, not super great yards per carry in the league. Of course, in real life, 5.6 per is great. But when the average is like 6, 6.5, you know, that's, uh, you know, a little bit below. <laughs> 5.6, hey, what up? Uh, but 1,000 yards. So he got over 1,000. 17 touchdowns. Only fumbled once. Broke 11 tackles, which you compare that to Puka. You can see why Puka is, a, uh, not, I wouldn't say a fan favorite, but he's a favorite of mine. Uh, Puka also played more downs in general. Uh, uh, the longest run for Mitchell was 32 yards on the season. Really? That's it? Um, but, of course, Puka, speaking of, not a bad season himself as number two. Two, a, a lot of touchdowns. Didn't really get that many yards. We had that one game. It was, like, 100 yards by, like, the third or maybe the fourth, and the game lined out. I was so mad. Uh, and then Will Fuller, who probably will get at least a game or two bench next season because of the uh, the touchdown to touchdown ratio here. It either you know either way, I probably need to bench him because I want to get Waddle at least next season. I want to get him to X Factor. It's it's about time the man goes to X Factor. All right, but obviously Gasicki, really good numbers too, considering he's a tight end, 81 catches, 11 touchdowns. Uh, Donovan Peoples Jones, just on you know a little under 1300 yards, eight touchdowns. Don't think that's going to be enough for Star, but if it is, 
Might even look to trade him because he was okay, but he was more a product of the players around him. And I kind of want like a true jump ball guy. Is he? I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable throwing it up to a six foot two guy. Not that it's not tall enough, but I want six three, six four, preferably six five. I'd say six four is the sweet spot, but we'll we'll see if that even is possible for us. Baker with 117 tackles kind of sucks. He was one of the best, I think, in like week 14 or 15. He actually led the league in tackles, and then he kind of slowed down a little bit. I don't know if that's because of Hunter Bates getting injured. Uh, but Jalen Phillips, sack totals in general were terrible. I mean, if you look, if you were to be able to grab a proper edge rusher that's kind of fast, move Franklin Myers on the DT spot. I mean, we're cooking. We're absolutely cooking with that, but... We weren't able to do that. Duncan was hurt a little bit, but of course he's not really, you know, he's a rookie uh, as far as like his ability to get to the quarterback. It's still, you know, a work in progress, obviously, uh, but, you know, still fair enough. Interceptions, Howard with 13 of them. Uh, Holland had a couple of three-pick games, I believe, which is why he's at eight. Oliver, a really good year. Byron Jones, good coverage, dropped a couple of passes here and there, but overall, you know, five picks, still a really good season. Brandon Jones, I don't even remember him playing, to be honest. I know he plays all the time, but, like, you know, because he's always moving around. He's sometimes, uh, you know, right up to the line of scrimmage. Sometimes he's playing deep safety. Uh, the one guy I can admit I don't remember playing at all, I hopefully he has, is Red One. 317 snaps compared to Jones' 967. we got to get away for Red Wine to get starters, uh, starts or more starts, I suppose, because... He is a very talented player, super fast. It's just, you know, we haven't really had a necessarily a spot for him to start in. Uh, Sanders missed two kicks, a little bit of an L. Johnny Towns and only nine punts, which is crazy. Yeah, let's get a lot of turnovers. Puka, yeah, thousand yards, nothing crazy though. What was his average? Twenty six. I mean, that's all you could really ask for, right? Twenty six plus yards per carry or yards per return. Waddle 15 is actually pretty damn good. Like, I would imagine, like, normally you'd probably get, like, 8 to 9. Let's actually take a look. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that last. Uh, let's go take a look at the rest of the league, though. Let's see how the league performed. Quarterback-wise, once again, Tua, number one yards, number one touchdowns. A lot of interceptions for some other guys. I can assume Rodgers is probably MVP, especially after we sold near the end there. Which really sucks, because if he's MVP, that means he probably took Offensive Player of the Year, and he guaranteed took uh, Quarterback of the Year, which is really unfortunate stuff. But this is what the numbers look like. 70% completion, pretty good. 128.6 pass rating, which is also really solid. Uh, 80 was the long, 22 sacks. Uh, only 781 snaps played, which is you know pretty low on average when you compare some of these other quarterbacks that are playing like 900 snaps. I know not everyone did, but a lot of them did. You can see a lot of people over that 5,000-yard mark. Uh, interceptions, very high, though, as you can see. Super high uh, for, like, a lot of players. It's, like, maybe five quarterbacks that have even a halfway decent uh, touchdown-to-pick ratio. Uh, a lot of guys with high numbers, though. Absolutely insane numbers. Justin Field. Yikes. That's, uh, that's a bit of a rough one. Looking at the rushing numbers, uh, Miles Sanders led the league in yards once again, our yards per carry are kind of high, but a lot of that is because of big runs. So it's not as hard to stop the run in the league as it used to be. So I think we kind of, you know, we we it's okay. Our numbers are all right. Um, but yeah, a couple of guys over 1,000. But once again, not the craziest numbers in the world. Who had the most touchdowns? So Blake Corum, you have uh, Ronald Jones, some other guys. So maybe Mitchell got the Pro Bowl, but I don't know. So one, so you have one, two, three, four. So if one of those other teams makes the, the Super Bowl, I don't know, maybe. I, I'm not sure, but uh, what else did we have? Uh, so who have fumbled the most? Probably a quarterback. Yeah, a bunch of quarterbacks. Tua wasn't even that high, to be honest. And the, the thing about Tua is that uh, he fumbled out of bounds a lot, so I'm not super mad about it. Um, broken tackles. You can see that Mitchell's not even close to the top. Yards after contact. Almost 600 for Barkley. A really high, hard guy to stop. I definitely would have thought Henry and maybe Christian McCaffrey would have been up there, but Elijah actually beat Christian McCaffrey for that. Obviously, a little bit more attempts. Longest run, 97 for Darrington Evans. Jeez, dude. And of course, one of the, the bigger trends with the longest run is, uh, of course, the speed for the most part. Uh, but that's pretty much that. Receiving, we had 
some crazy numbers. There's definitely some crazy numbers. Definitely some benches that are going to be in here. Uh, um, but yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of high numbers here. Uh, Pitts with 91 catches. That's kind of crazy. Knox 66 one, with 14 24. Is he superstar? He's not. I feel the pain. Even though at least Knox is super fast. Uh, Jalen Waddle gets sick. We had a bunch of guys. I don't know how many teams would have had uh, like three guys over a thousand, let alone the four we had. Um, touchdowns, of course. Fuller did lead in. A couple other guys nearby the top. Rack. 700 just about for Marquise Brown. Oh, my Lord. The rookie, Anthony Ewing. Did he ever get to Superstar? He did. When did he get that? When did he get that? Over 100 yards? Six receptions, two. Geez, 211. Um, interesting. Very solid. You know, big big guy, deep in elite. Interesting stuff. Um, what about the long? 99. <laughs> okay, interesting. 97 for freaking Kittle, 97 for Tim Patrick, 95, 93, 92, 92, 92. A lot of high numbers there, obviously. Who played the most downs? It's going to be a bunch of tight ends, isn't it? Is our tight end not up there? I mean, he's up there, but he's not, like, that crazy up there. Blocking, you can't really, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, uh, tackle, sheriff, really good numbers, obviously, for being a tackle. Uh, a lot of, like, why is Washington, like, the most downs played by, like, a mile uh, maybe a lot of sim games, perhaps. Um, but sack totals, not that crazy, actually. Can't believe that was the starting left tackle. I think Trenton did retire early. But 17 sacks, okay. Uh, you know, uh, McGlinchey. You know, it, it is what it is. You can't really look too much into those. Uh, but tackles, oh, Baker was number three. Okay, that's not terrible. I mean, X Factor be crazy, be great, but don't need it, right? Like, we, all we need is Superstar. X Factor, the ability is really... Wait, do we get a second ability? Oh, he's one off. Give me a run stopper, I suppose. But yeah, uh, I'll take Superstar. I don't really need X Factor. Tacos were a loss with the most. A couple of pass rushes in there. Sack totals, 19.5 for Brian Burns at areas with 16. 15.5 for Daniil. Look at Van Ginkle with 15. I knew he was a good pass rusher, but we just couldn't start him. We had a lot of other talent. Uh, Wanham, 14 and a half. Shaquille, Gr Shaquem Griffin, 13. Sweat with 13, 12 and a half for Chubb. Uh, some, you know, some decent numbers, obviously, in there. Picks, 15 for Cox. He had that record for a while, like a couple weeks now, I believe. Howard actually got to 13. Fitzpatrick uh, at 13, 12, 12, 12. You know, a lot of, a lot of high numbers, as you would expect in a user league, especially when you've seen those, those numbers for the, uh, for the picks thrown. Uh, deflections. I don't remember if that actually plays a factor in DevOps, but uh, if it does, I mean, not that it matters. We don't really have any guys that need DevOps at corner. Force fumble six for Brian Burns. Potential defensive player of the year, perhaps. Recoveries. Uh, Browning with five. What about, like, blocked kicks? Four block kicks in the entire league. Safeties, four uh, safeties in the entire league. A lot of touchdowns, obviously. You're not going to really, you know, that that's number is always going to be pretty high. Kicking, obviously the number that everyone wants to see the most. 100% <laughs> for Prater, 16 for 16, 16 for 16. Uh, Vedvik, 21 for 22, 21 or 20 to 21. Uh, some pretty decent numbers in here. Who had the least amount of field goals made? Robbie Gold. So the Niners, Ravens, Jets. Uh, interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, punting. Let's take a look at the yards. So 2,000 yards punted. What was the lowest? Townsend with 394. Oh, my God. Those numbers are so low. Once again, we did throw a lot of picks, and we were still successful. So, it is, you know, it is what it is. We're the longest punt. 74 for Bjorquez. Um, Bjorquez. Is, it's, I hate saying the name, even though things. Um, fair enough. Kick return. Touchdowns. So, the most yards goes to Calvin Austin, the third. 2,100 yards. That's kind of crazy. Four touchdowns, though, for Curtis Samuel. That's a lot. Got to be a Pro Bowler for that. I wonder if he gets two Pro Bowls because maybe he was a wide receiver and kick return. Like, do you get extra XP? I don't even know. Uh, but Waddle was actually up there for punt returns. People just don't get that many yards, it seems. But obviously, touchdown-wise, nowhere near. But for the moment of truth, I don't even know what I'm expecting. So here, if I were to guess what we got, I would say... Best wide receiver, maybe with Fuller. I wouldn't guarantee that, though, because there was a couple of other non uh, non guys that were pretty high. Uh, I would say DB, perhaps. And that might be it. 
honestly, that could be it because, once again, we kind of sold with Tua. The numbers with Gunslinger Rogers were very high. Maybe we got Offensive Player of the Year. That was That's pretty much all I'd expect. What about weekly awards, by the way? It's never a damn winner, dude. Never a damn winner. So MVP of the league does go to Rodgers, as expected. Tua goes to number two, unfortunately. Coach of the year, uh, Jaguars. What makes a coach of the year, by the way? Do they just like... Um... <laughs> Jesus, some of the names. I really should have... Uh... <laughs> I really should have uh, not looked at all the names. But what makes a coach of the year? Because it's not obviously just record, because obviously we would have won it this season and last year would have been the Panthers, but... What makes a coach of the year? I really do not know, but if you say so, uh, offensive player of the year number two as well. Oh, I hate it. I hate it around here. It just makes me sad. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to the Broncos, actually. Uh, that's interesting. Offensive rookie of the year. Fair enough. Defensive rookie of the year. Did we even have anyone? Hey, Bates at number 10, even I got injured for the last like 45 years. Tua with a ton of runner-ups, which is just harmful to my health. Uh, running back. Oh, we weren't even close. I don't even think that's close to Pro Bowl. Number six. Sheesh. Fuller, number two at wide receiver. Still a Pro Bowler, though. Uh, O-line, number three. Fair enough. Number eight, nine, and ten. We take those, even though we have rookies. <laughs> I would have liked to see those guys in. Uh, Trey Hendrickson, number one for D-line. Interesting. Uh, Jalen Phillips at number six. Linebacker, number one. You would have figured uh, Hamza would be up there. Of course, he did one Defensive Player of the Year. And Howard, we didn't win a single award. Yikes. So we didn't win a single award. We didn't get a single weekly award. But we probably did get some dev up. So, you know, some cheesers around the league. What can I tell you? <laughs> we had a lot of yards and touchdowns and all that. Uh, player of the Year for the uh, NFC side. Uh, some A lot of running backs, actually, for the NFC. Like, what, six or seven? Defensive Player of the Year for Ward. I think we already know what Offensive Rookie of the Year is going to be like. Uh, defensive Rookie of the Year. What about Best Quarterback? Yeah, I figured. What about Running Back? Barkley. Uh, wide Receiver. Uh, what about O-Line? You know, the Cowboys, you know, they're going to take a lot of those. Uh, Vikings would want them. Why want them, though? Like, who would want them? Hmm? Yeah. Shaquem Griffin, didn't even think he was actually going to be a thing in our league. Uh, Jimmy Ward, best DB. What a waste of XP. That's just so harsh. Same with Prater. I don't even know how much you get for a kicker. But, yeah, um, yeah, you know, 16-1, you got a bye week. Two is going to be an X factor. But there's not a whole lot else to be really super happy about with the season. The thing is, even though we didn't win any weekly awards, we didn't win any yearly awards this the season we had with our guys was very impressive. You know, guys like Gasicki, I mean, he's kind of on the older side. I think our tight end XP sliders are literally just at 100, and yet he's like a 90 overall, and that doesn't even count for, you know, his actual boost. Really insane route runner. You know, this is a guy that I was thinking, okay, we don't get superstar right away. He's going to be kind of stuck as kind of a bad player, but outside of speed, which you can't really ask for upgrades too much, you can't also ask for too much more from him, right? I want to, you know, solidify that catching and catching traffic and all that a little bit more, but outside of that, I mean, this is about as good as you're going to get for a tight end. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much that, but you, I mean, outside of maybe the corners, I mean, Will Fuller is an insane overall. He's like, what, 89, almost 90, uh, and he started off as an older player, star dev, and look where he is now, insane route running and all that. Baker, you know, he's 84 overall. He started out slow because of us. I mean, we've got a lot of potential. Of course, Elijah Mitchell, is he? So he's about to be an 84 overall. Just get freaking jukebox, dude. Just be a cheeser. What are you waiting for? Just cheese it up. Uh, Wilkins, he's an 83 overall. We're going to probably try to trade him. I don't know if anyone wants him, but great tackle, decent strength, you know, decent block shed and power move. I mean, he's better than, you know, the worst players in the league. And more importantly, the reason why I want to get rid of him is because of uh, because of John Franklin Myers, dude. He needs to play DT. He needs to go back to his original spot. He's just too good not to. We have two upgrades, and then that's pretty much going to be it until we actually play our playoff game, which hopefully we win, at least get to the freaking divisional, maybe even the championship round. That's the goal. I would love to win the Super Bowl, but the goal is at least 
make it to the championship round. We'll see. Phillips, once again, technically the best edge rusher on the team this year, but it really wasn't a good year. A lot of coverage sacks. Stop it with the awareness. <laughs> 84 awareness after a plus four, though. What was his last upgrade? We also probably should have looked at, like, Pro Bowls and all that. Oh, he did make the Pro Bowl. That's a little surprising, actually. How many players they let in the damn Pro Bowl? But look at our last upgrades. Like, four awareness, one hit power, one pursuit, one tackle. What was the... They won't show it because it was so long ago, but... Like, he's only got 82 finesse. EA, help me out here, pal. Even an Excel and a, a speed here and there would have been nice. Byron Jones, a guy that probably does need zone a little bit more than man, but we know what we're doing. We know who we are. You go slot every day of the week because it's just by far the best upgrade. And we get... See, it's not good because we don't get man or zone, but three to tackle, two to play rack, one to awareness is still a pretty significant upgrade. Just talk about a beast. Ooh, a beast. A, a beast. <laughs> you could tell that in my voice. I need some water. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you get to see what uh, some of the players around the league have been doing. Looking at our offensive ranks. 1-1, one, one, 21, and then defense, 4-7-5, which, I mean, if you were to guess, that's, that's probably championship level, right? <laughs> probably championship level, so... If we play the way we have this season, you gotta like our chances for a deep run. We're gonna get Hunter Bates back right in time for the playoffs. May not be the highest overall, but extremely fast, extremely hard to account for. And with him out there, I feel more comfortable letting Baker just roam. So, you know, in a way you're getting two players back because instead of us using a great player like Baker primarily... Baker gets the room on his own, and we get to take over a spot that no matter what, whether it's Bates or or Coughlin or Maloui, Stevens, it's going to be kind of a weaker spot. So, you know, we'll be kind of using the slot corner slash safety if there's a guy, you know, playing, you know, near the line of scrimmage or primarily Hunter Bates. So it could be a different looking defense. Remember when we were talking about the defense has been bad lately? Maybe that's why. Losing a guy with the, the athleticism of Hunter Bates and, once again, being forced to steal a great AI like uh, Jerome Baker, you know, maybe that's why we were kind of sucking a little bit on defense. But we'll see. Once again, I'm a little worried about the last couple of performances we've had. But ultimately, it's the playoffs. It's to us time to shine. This is our year. Maybe. I would say maybe because, once again, we're going to have an X-Factor to uh, maybe some other upgrades in dev. And once again, we're looking to draft an edge rusher that's fast or get some sort of edge rusher that's fast and then move John Franklin Myers to the DT spot, which is where he killed it in year one. So I would say a lot of optimism for this year, but not the end of the world if we don't make it all the way. So we're going to try to, and it's going to be a little weird if we do make it all the way because once again, I think we're going to get even better next season. And I promise you this isn't a voiceover, this, you know, complete staff roster week <laughs> you know it's not a voiceover we didn't already lose i can promise you that it's just uh once again i, I feel i'm worried about the, the couple of defensive performances we've had 42 to detroit that's worrisome like that's just i don't know but anyways lots of high hopes hope you guys uh tune in for the next playoff game don't know who it's going to be against i feel like it's going to be against the jaguars we'll see Anyways, though, if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, second channel, PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jump Care for streams. No idea what day this is coming up, so maybe check the community tab or Twitch around 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Maybe there's maybe there'll be a notification saying I'm live, or maybe, uh, I don't know, who knows. But yeah, hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 